What are those flames from? Natural gas. Just comes up with the oil. Why don't they collect it? They're making so much money up here, they don't bother picking up loose change. Even with the seemingly bottomless charm of Don Johnson on board as the local oil baron, and Delroy Lindo as the local cop, ABC's new late night soap, Blood and Oil, has two big problems as far as I can see. One, the September 27th, 9 p.m. debuting series North Dakota Boomtown version of Dallas, which that's what Blood and Oil is, let's be honest, falters on facts with today's low worldwide oil prices actually probably creating more bankruptcies than new millionaires out there on the real life fracking field. Secondly, even with that hard economic fact of real life, and the many fine hats and one-liners that Johnson gets to try on for size in the show, the dramatic drill bit of blood and oil is pretty blunted and actually doesn't dig very deep despite its obvious possibilities. Why? Well, because from the improbable truck crash that leaves a just starting out young couple played by a slightly grunged up Chase Crawford and Rebecca Rittenhouse banged up with nothing and starting over in the debauched and deadly booming back in shale, you see everything coming from a mile away. Add to that the fact that the ABC Studios produced 13 episode series, which started out at ABC, then became boom at USA Network and is now back at ABC, hits you on the head with a snow-capped mountainous landscape that is clearly not North Dakota. And already you have a serious lack of suspension of disbelief here, which is a real shame because America loves a good soap and the hard lives of the very rich. And there's a ton of possibilities and despite these shortcomings, a real American story in blood and oil. I saw you back that truck in. You weren't paying attention, boy. I had nothing to do with it. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> the thing is, they're all buried in a gusher of cliches. From the entitled son of Johnson's Haps Briggs and lines like, you think I'm gonna toss you the keys to the kingdom and watch you drive it over a cliff? Wrapped far too tight in a J.R. Ewing molding, Johnson gives us just a glimpse of what things could be on Blood and Oil, as he and screen wife and revenge alum Amber Valletta rip into lines about Weasley VPs from Goldman Sachs. But those moments are way too infrequent. If Blood and Oil had gone more empire and less like the now canceled Dallas revival, well that would have been a rig to get onto. But from what I've seen, if you're drilling with this blood and oil, you ain't likely to hit a rich vein anytime soon. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.